Cisco Prime Land Management Solution, or LMS, is offered as part of Cisco Prime Infrastructure. It delivers powerful network lifecycle management simplifying the configuration, compliance, monitoring, troubleshooting, and administration of Cisco networks. The following video will describe how to pre-stage the Cisco Prime LMS Virtual Appliance. This includes downloading the OVA software from Cisco.com, deploying the OVF template in VMware, configuring the virtual appliance for the first time, and accessing Cisco Prime LMS from the web interface. Let's begin. In this first module, we describe how to download the OVA software files from Cisco.com. In this example, we are searching for the LMS software on Cisco.com. From the support link, type Cisco Prime LMS into the download search window and click Find. You must be logged into Cisco.com with a valid user account in order to download software. From the results of your search, click the Cisco Prime LMS 4.2 link. From the Software Type screen, click the LMS Software link. For the Virtual Appliance, you're going to click the Linux link. On this screen, the OVA files come in two parts for standard, medium, and large networks. Add the following files to your cart. The OVA Part 1 and Part 2 files, the reassembly and checksum utility, and the README file. When you are ready, click the Download Cart link. On the final screen, you will see the files to be downloaded. Click the Download All button to download the files to your computer. You must accept the End User License Agreement to continue. After the download is complete, you should see an OVA Part 1 and Part 2 file. Do not change the names of these files. You should also see a README file, and the checksum utility should have been extracted to an .exe and batch file. To join the two OVA files, launch the batch file. When the merge is complete, you will see a message in the command window showing one file copied. You will also see the joined OVA file. You can also navigate to cisco.com slash go slash NMS evals where you can download a single copy of the OVA file instead of two. This eliminates the step of joining the two files together. In this module, we demonstrate how to deploy the OVF template. You need not install a virtual appliance image before installing Cisco Prime LMS 4.2 as the OVA image already has an embedded Red Hat Enterprise virtual appliance. You must first log into the VMware server using the vSphere client. Use the username and password that was configured on your ESXi server and click Login. Once you are logged in, Go to the File menu and choose Deploy OVF Template. From the Source screen, click Browse, choose the OVA file downloaded from Cisco.com, click Open, and then click Next. The OVF Template Details screen shows you information about the image that you are deploying. Click Next. From the Name and Location screen, you can customize the name of the template. When you're done, click Next. From the Data Store screen, choose the disks to which the template is to be deployed. Make certain that you choose a disk with sufficient disk space. Then click Next. From the Disk Format screen, choose Thin or Thick Provisioned Format. Thick is recommended for a production network. Click Next. From the Network Mapping screen, choose the physical interface of the destination network that you want to use. Click Next. Then click Finish to complete the deployment. The time required for deploying the template will depend on the speed of your network. You will see a completed successfully message when it is done. This module describes how to configure the Cisco Prime LMS virtual appliance for the first time. From the vSphere client, choose the newly deployed LMS virtual machine from the list. 
Then click the Power On the Virtual Machine link. Be aware that it will take several minutes for the virtual machine to power up. When you're ready to configure, click the Console tab. Press Enter to start the configuration wizard. First, enter the name of the LMS server which cannot exceed 19 characters. Enter the IP address of the LMS server, along with the subnet mask and IP address of the default gateway. Enter the domain name for the LMS server, along with the IP address of the name server. You can optionally enter the address of a secondary name server as well. Enter the name or IP address of a network time protocol server. You can optionally enter the name of a secondary NTP server as well. Next, enter the system time zone. You can type H to see a list of the supported time zones. In this example, I am entering America slash Los Angeles. Next, enter a username and password to access the Cisco Prime LMS Appliance Council. This user will have the privilege to enable the shell access. The default username is sysadmin. You must also enter the password for the admin account to log in to Cisco Prime LMS using the browser interface. For security reasons, passwords are not displayed. The last option allows you to display all of the passwords if desired. Once you have completed all of the configuration steps, it will take 15 to 20 minutes to process the database engine. The virtual appliance will then be automatically rebooted. Aborting or rebooting the system without completing the installation may leave your virtual machine unusable. This module describes how to access Cisco Prime LMS from the web interface. To access Cisco Prime LMS from the web interface, enter the server name port number 1741 into the URL window. Log in as admin using the password that was provided during the configuration wizard. The Getting Started Wizard screen will be displayed the first time you log in. This screen is useful when configuring the LMS server for the very first time. You can choose not to see this screen by clicking the Do Not Show Getting Started Wizard at the next login. This concludes the How To Pre-Stage video. In this video, we covered downloading the virtual appliance files from Cisco.com deploying the OVF template in VMware on the ESXi server, using the configuration wizard to set up Cisco Prime LMS for the very first time, and accessing Cisco Prime LMS from the web interface. For more information on network management, go to Partner Central at cisco.com slash go slash partner nm.